Yo, 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 what's up? What's really good? Things a little different today? Well, they are because I'm having a couple of technical issues with my computer. So instead of doing it audio, we're going to do it with a video. Uh, this is your boy, Brandon Bravon Towns. This is Sports Plus Life, that there sports podcast where we talk about all of the necessary topics in sports and all of the necessary topics in life. And before I get started, I hope everybody's having a blessed and wonderful Monday. It is Monday, May the 23rd, if I'm not mistaken, 2000 of the 2 2. Little rant, ranges, ranges, ranges happen. Ranges picked up. I had to go to the cell phone store and the ranges started coming. And I'm like, okay, cool. That means my kids are going to be staying in the house. But before we get started on the sports topic, I just want to send all my love out to all of my peoples, all of my HS, all of my black and yellow people you see right here. I'm representing Holland Springs all day, you know, but hey, that's just me. And um, not just my Holland Springs people, but my people in general. I hope everybody has a wonderful, blessed week. And um, yo... We ain't got no music, we ain't got no backgrounds, but guess who I do have with me? I still got my man Tony with me, so let's get to it, okay? Got what up, dude? Sitting, got your man Tony sitting directly in front of Holland Springs School right now. How about that? He's sitting right in front of Holland Springs School right now, and I'm sitting here with a Holland Springs shirt on right now. God damn it. See how the stars yeah. align. What's happening with you, bro, bro? Uh, same old, same old. All right, well, you know what? We're going to jump right into it. Let's jump right into these NBA playoffs. The Golden State Warriors, you might as well pencil them in. I told y'all, um, ever since about midseason, I said the Warriors are back, um, and it just really depended on health with them. Um, they have taken a 3 nothing lead in the Western Conference Finals over the Dallas Mavericks. They won last night in Dallas, 109-100. to This game doesn't surprise me, but the game, honestly, where Dallas should be kicking themselves is game two that happened on Saturday because they had Golden State dead to rights. I mean, excuse me, that happened Friday. They had Golden State dead to rights, and they let them come back. And that seemed to be the game that took their soul, not to mention Andrew Wiggins. How did you see Andrew Wiggins put Luka on a post? to my dude. I, 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 so, you said what? My, 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 I, I saw that, but my take on that whole thing overall, and I, I hear you with the Golden State is back, um, you know, thing. they got a, a, a good roster, they got young, they got some young youth to their roster with Jordan Poole and Andrew um, they seem to be getting the most out of Wiggins. Yep. Um, it, it, largely because they style of play, you know, the dude. It, I, I'll say this: on a team like Golden State, it's hard to be a scrub. Right. It, it's hard to be a scrub. Right. Because uh, all they really ask you to do is just do whatever it is you do, do that best. Um, but I don't know if it's. I, I think some people will sing the praises of Golden State. I don't know if it's uh, that Golden State is is really that good this year, or the West was overrated. Based on how the, the the top fell, and you know, by the by virtue of a team like Dallas being in the position that they are, yeah, they about to get eliminated. But again, who would have thunk? Well, that's a fair comment. Um, I will say this: that's a fair comment. Golden State, their road to get to the NBA Finals because they up three zero. At most, at worst, come to worst, Dallas will push it back to Golden State. But this series ain't gonna go no further than five games. Trust me on that. I'm pretty sure Tony would agree. Um, their championship pedigree. Well, uh, like you said, they got younger with uh, Poole and Wiggins, and you know, Kevon Looney's been there for a while, but he's only 26 years old. Um, they, but they got healthy. You remember they'll. Uh, uh, Clay is back. He's not back to the way he was, particularly defensively, but he can still, when he gets hot, he's, he can still be lights out. Draymond, the little nagging injuries he had, he's back. So he got full compliment. Now, the, the, the road that they have traveled has not been the most difficult one. If you look at when they played Denver, no Jamal Murray, no Michael Porter. Then you play Memphis. Even though Memphis plays better with Ja, they were not going to beat Golden State without Ja. But you can't. But it's not Golden State's fault that they had to play who they played on no, their schedule. You can only play who's on your schedule. Yeah. I, 
You can only play who's on your schedule. I just lean to, um, I just think the Western Conference, based on everything that we've seen now and know now, they may have just been overrated. Nobody told uh, Phoenix to collapse now. Nobody told Phoenix yes, to do that. Because for the, I mean, you got to figure for most of the year, it was Phoenix and nobody else. Yep. Or at least it was looked at that way. It was Phoenix and nobody else. And, uh, you know, that. I can't explain it, you know, but but then maybe parity because I guess it's a similar thing kind of in the Eastern Conference um, to some degree to have the, the Bucks and the Sixers sitting at home. Yeah, I will say this, though. Now, for one, what the Warriors are doing, getting ready to head back to another NBA Finals, which will be their six and eighth years, their six and eight seasons, that's quite an accomplishment, for one, they truly are a championship team. Again, I will say this again. Steve Kerr, since he has been their coach, when they have made the playoffs in the Western Conference, they have never been eliminated. When they have made the playoffs, that is factual. The six times that they have made it to the playoffs under Steve Kerr, they have never lost in the Western Conference playoffs. That's one. Two, how does Kevin Durant look right now? And I love KD, but boy, if you want to question, if, it, if and especially if the Warriors win the bitch, that's going that's going to make KD look very bad. I I don't think so. I don't think it's right because people have left championship teams and went elsewhere, and they chased the dollar or whatever they were chasing. You know, um, they they wanted to be more of uh, um, to have their own thing, you know, so to speak. So. Well, the reason why the reason why I, I say it would make Kevin Durant look bad, not the fact that he left. Like you said, people leave championship teams all the time. But it looks like you left Steph Curry for Kyrie Irving. Again, no one, I don't think there's, if, I'll put it this way. If somebody is literally sitting, thinking that one of these talking heads, I'm turning the channel, whatever, because for real, for real, it, it, it happens. It happens. So it, it's it, it's not an outlier. It's not the first ta- time that it happened. Somebody left uh, one person they were teamed up with to go team up with another person, and it didn't go how they thought it would go. So I mean, it is what it is. I mean, yeah, it is what it is. Now, what I will say is, there's this. no guarantee that, that you got to think about it. In the, in the, uh, I'm listening. Yeah. There, there's no guarantee that that if they um, if he you know stays that they have the team that's currently comprised you, you know injury could have happened anything could have happened so the woulda coulda shoulda you know it is, well, it is. all I know is it's working out for Golden State and um, now what I will say is when the Warriors you know whoever they face in the finals whether it's the Heat or the Boston Celtics mm-hmm. either one of those teams can beat Golden State. What do you think? Yeah, they can. Yeah, they, they can. These games, even with these, these games with Dallas, you know, watching them, man, it, it's, it's Luka just needs a, he needs a consistent uh, uh, sidekick because um, box score-wise, what is Luka not doing against Golden State? Okay, well. Like he pretty much is doing whatever he wants to do. Yeah, he is. Part. It doesn't matter who they put on him, he still does whatever he wants to do. The problem is, um, he has to do it all. The, the, when you look at these other series that Dallas was in, Luka would have that 38, 40 point, you know, uh, 10 rebound, but he would have 12 assists. And this series is more like two, three assists. You're absolutely right with the assist box scores, but this is what I will tell you. Now, you're absolutely right as far as Luka's numbers. Luka played horrible in game one, but in games two and three, he's dropped over 40. But it's not like he's. But it's not like he has not had another teammate step up. Think about this. In game two, the game that they should have won, the game that they blew, he had over forty. Brunson had thirty-one. Bullock had twenty-six, and they lost. Luca Brunson when, and Bullock. When it's when he's getting his help. It, it, it's when he's getting it. These dudes are putting up points, you know, first quarter, second quarter, but then they disappear in the fourth quarter. Well, remember, remember. The, I, that's why I opened up by saying and, and they had the 15 point lead that they shouldn't have right been exactly that's, that, remember I opened up by saying the game that really I believe snatched their soul was game 2 because that's the game they should have won because I remember that game Brunson had like 19 in the first half and then 
fourth quarter, Golden State did what they, you know, they did what they do. Last night, you know, Luka has 40, Brunson has 20. You get 26 off the bench from Dimwitty. So, again, you have three players that's combining for damn near 90 points. The issue is one of your starters, Bullock, goes 0 for 10. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly. 0 for 10. Dorian Finney-Smith goes 3 for 7. Now, Luka, while he scored 40 points, and I'm going to just throw this stat out here. The one time I'm going to throw this stat out in my life, because I really don't care about it. Luka's plus minus was minus 19 yesterday. I don't give a damn about that, because that's really some new shit to me. Your plus minus. To me, it's about whether you win or lose. Um, What'd you say? I'll say this about this Golden State series, and people can say what they want to. If you don't think Porzingis would have made some difference in this series, they, they basically gave away for nothing. Porzingis would have made a difference in this series, because you got to guard him. Porzingis would have made a difference in this series because of his size. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. That's why when the playoffs started, I remember I called Golden State and Milwaukee. I said Giannis will average 40, but I think the Warriors will win. That, that would have been the uh, – um, now, you put uh, Porzingis with Luka. Porzingis would have probably averaged 40. Because you have nobody literally that can guard him. I, well, he would average 40 if he played with his back to the basket. Because there's literally nobody on Golden State that's seven foot, not even seven feet. You know, and Porzingis is seven four. So, yeah, he would average 40 easy. But, yeah, uh, him and this is where they need him. This series right here. This is where they needed him. I guess they figure he, he, he finally was healthy for a year. So, sell high when he healthy. <laughs> I don't even I don't even I don't even blame them. I don't blame them because um he's never healthy. Shit. I don't blame him because he's never healthy. You damn right. You sell high. That's like how I feel with the Lakers with Anthony Davis. If Anthony Davis start playing again, no, it's time to trade him because you don't know when the next time that check engine light going to come on. Yeah. So um yeah. So, okay, so, again, I said, I do, I, I, Golden State, like I said, you can pencil them in the finals. I do firmly believe that either the Heat or the Celtics can beat Golden State in the finals. I think the Celtics would be a better matchup for Golden State. But let's talk about the Eastern Conference Finals. Game four is tonight. After Miami won game one where there was no Marcus Smart and Al Horford, they had to win that game. I didn't overreact to that. I just figured you have to win that game. Um, then Boston comes back with Smart and Horford. They're fully healthy, and they blow the doors off of South Beach. But then thir- uh, but then game three, um, what was that, Saturday night, Miami returns the favor in Boston. Now, Jimmy Butler goes out with knee inflammation. They're saying he's going to play tonight. Miami had a 26-point lead. They had to cling to it. But their second All-Star showed up. Bam out of Bayou, dropped 31. And I told Tony this yesterday. I said, last night, well, game three proved why it's important to have depth on your team. Because Miami doesn't win that game if they are not supremely, if they do not supremely have the depth that they do. I don't disagree with Tony when he says that Boston is the better team. I don't disagree. But Miami reminds me of that 2011 Dallas team that, oddly enough, beat Miami, that has never gotten the credit for winning that championship. Over the last 35 years, I've said there are two, there are two championships that are in Swiss bank accounts. That's Toronto and Dallas. Because Man, look, you know what that came down to. You know what that can, you know why Dallas won that series? Cause JJ Burrell with his lockdown D on LeBron James. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. Come on now. And Jason Terry playing like a, a, a all world. That, you know? Hey, you are absolutely right with that one. But that depth though, think about that Dallas team. They had their their perennial All Star, their superstar, Dirk Nowitzki. Then they had all-stars, future Hall of Famers like Jason Kidd, and, but then you had the above-average starters, very good role players, borderline all-stars. How many times was Jason Terry an all-star snub? Berea was definitely an above-average starter. You had your former all-stars, Sean Marion, Pedro Stoyakovich, Karan Butler, Jason Kidd, future Hall of Famer, and then you had Dirk, a team where, mind you, they didn't just beat LeBron. They, beat, they swept Kobe. 
They beat KD, Russ, and Harden. Granted, they were babies, whatever. It was the West Conference Finals. They got there. And this is who that Miami team reminds me of. Now, is Jimmy Butler the player that Dirk, you know, is he as good a player as Dirk? If Jimmy Butler was seven feet tall, yeah, I would say he probably would be. But it is what it is. Um, Dirk is the truth. Now, how do you, I mean, Dirk was the truth on that team. Now, how do you feel about that, that comparison? Um, I think it's a, a, a fair comparison. That I'm look, I was a Dirk fan, um, just in general as a player, and Dirk will be, be on my team anytime. Um, he, he I, I'll say this: Dirk was as close to uh, Tim Duncan as anybody. Like I mean, quite literally. I think them two dudes were interchangeable, but uh, Tim Duncan was just a little bit better. But Arguably one of the best to ever play the game. To me, so, I think. To me, I think, and I mean no racism by this. Dirk is the baddest white boy I've seen since Larry Bird, and that's what they're trying to make Luca to be. Uh, yeah, you probably well, not probably right. You are right because, like, literally, when you think of uh, of, of white guys in basketball, yeah, that, that made a name, made an impact. It, it literally goes from Dirk to Larry Bird. Yeah, um, Larry Bird to Dirk. In between a lot of decent players, but none to neither one of those levels. No, exactly. And that's and that's and I'm and telling you, of them were dogs. That's that's the difference. Dirk yeah. was good, but you know he, he was clutch. Right. You know, yeah, that clutch team. And they want. I mean, and trust and believe. Don't get it twisted. The NBA wants so bad for Luca to be the next Larry Bird. So bad. Because but Amy don't, Amy don't. I mean, he's, they're not wrong in trying to push that dude because he does have, you know, that type of thing. He's a dog too. No, they're not. When, wrong. He, when his team the lose, it's not because of him. But here, but here's the difference. Uh, this year was the second straight year where coming into the league, Luca was the um, favorite to win the MVP. What Luca has to start doing, uh, the skill set is undeniable. It's there. But what Luca has to start doing is he has to start taking the offseason seriously. He, start, he needs to start coming in in shape. He needs to start coming into the season in shape. And um, then it's like nothing can stop that dude from an individual standpoint. After that, the rest revolves around Mark Cuban. Who are you going to put around him? I think they have the right coach. I think they've, they've nailed that one. But now you have to get Dirk to take conditioning seriously. Otherwise, you're going to end up like James Harden in the next couple of years. You ha- and you have to, he has to improve on his defense. Because Larry Bird was an underrated, good. he was a sneaky good defender. Nothing was elite about him, but he was sneaky good. Dirk's, I mean, uh, um, Doncic, Luka is a horrible defensive player. He is terrible at defense. Re- remember the movie Eddie? Yeah, yeah, he's like Yvonne. Yvonne make basket. That's it. He don't play no damn defense. He don't play no with Whoopi Goldberg in it. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, well, I ain't going to say he plays no defense because he'll get steals by getting in the pass lanes, quick hands. But, yeah, just individual defender, no. No, yeah, that's that's the reason why you saw Phoenix attack him. That's why you're going to see Golden. That's why Golden State with Wiggins, Draymond. And remember I told you last week, I said, I don't give a damn if Kevon Looney has the ball in his hands. Attack him. Kevon Looney is averaging 14 and 10 in this series. And I mean, so it's you have to attack the weak link. Dirk is a weak. I mean, Dirk. I keep saying Dirk. Luca is a weak defender. But again, there's still room for improvement. Dude's only what 22, 23 years old. But um, he, but he has to take conditioning seriously. He has to take defense seriously. And 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 Mark Cuban has to make sure he surrounds him with the right pieces. They, he got the coach. He nailed the coach. Jason Kidd ain't going nowhere. I'm going to tell you that right now. Just off of season one, getting to the Western Finals, like you said, when who to thunk it? You know, they, they nailed that. But um, they just overmatched. They, you know, there's, they're facing a champion who is looking to reclaim his throne. Right. So, now, as far as the East, now let's get back to the Eastern Conference because we went back to West after I gave the comparison. What is your prognostication, sir, for tonight's pivotal game four? Uh, 
I'm in a vape shop. I'm in a vape shop, and I'm, I'm, I'm wearing my Leighton Vander Esch jersey, and, and, and here they come, out the woodwork. Oh, Lord, watch that. Yeah, come starters. on, that, that, Why do you, you know that Dave Chappelle episode with the haters, the player haters ball? First of all, <laughs> you hating on yourself by wearing a damn He's a Raiders fan, shirt. bro. He's a, the dude that's talking to me is a Raiders fan. He a Bronco fan, so it is good, though. And you really ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Eagles fan. I just came back from Philadelphia. I'm glad y'all are hearing this. If we only have one time that we that we be, what are you even talking about? You need to check that one. Yeah, you check it. I've lived in Philly, and let me tell you something. In, in, in Philly, oh, it's some tears. Oh, he hates the Cowboys. Oh my God, it's the Cowboys. In Dallas, we don't care about the Eagles. Hey, um, hey, hey, Tony, put me on speakerphone. Yeah. Yeah, you're on speaker. Thank you. You guys are live on a podcast right now. He is playing himself by wearing a damn Leighton Van Dash jersey in the first place. And with your podcast, champ, because I'd be on podcast too. Sport- Where you at? You subscribe with you on YouTube? Yeah, it's on YouTube. Sports Plus what's your, Life. What's the champ? Bravon Towns. B R E V O N. That's the first name. T O W N E S. Okay, you be following in the Raider podcast? Um, I'm a Broncos fan, dude. Sorry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're in the same division. That's true, though. And you know what's crazy? Is that my, my uncle, my uncle lives out in Vegas. He's been living out in Vegas for the last four years. He was just okay. here on Mother's Day with his Raiders gear on, telling me, you know, and he said, you know, you know we're going to win the Super Bowl, right? I said, Unc, we back, man. I said, we back. We back. Denver back? Yeah, we back, man. Why we back? Why Denver back? We back. Because you got Russ? We, well, they ain't, we, it's not just Russ. Gregory? Not just no, no, no. I ain't worried about him. That's that's a dude I'm really not concerned about because yeah, he's he, probably gonna be there for four, five, six weeks. Exactly. That's why I was. I, and Tony will tell you, I was never hype about the Gregory sign, and I just thought it was funny because he screwed Dallas. So, so, so you think you better than the Raiders? Absolutely. Huh? Absolutely. Wow, y'all ain't been there for two years. I ain't worried. That was two years ago. I ain't worried about the past. I'm worried about the present and the future, homie. But we only got better. And so did we. <laughs> not, as, not, not as good as we got it. We were already better. Why? Because you got Devontae Adams. That's it? Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones. Okay. Good for you. Good for you. We going to be, I'm going to tell you, my Broncos, we going to finish 12 and 5. Oh, my goodness. We're going to finish 12 and 5. I got to go. This is the reason why I came in the big shop. So when I get home, I can smoke and not listen to this shit. Y'all get home with me. Mm-hmm. We're going to be 12 and 5. We're going to be in the playoffs. I'm just telling you that now. Okay? Now, as far as my man Tony goes, he's playing himself by wearing a Leighton Van Der Esch jersey in the first place. I'm not playing myself. Because he, he, if myself. there's one team he needs to worry about right now. I love your jersey. If it's you one know. team he needs to worry about right now. I heard there was an Eagles fan in there, right? Yeah. Wave your hands high, brother, because Bird Gang is coming for it this year. First of all, let me explain something to you. Speak for your Broncos. All right, stay in your – stay in – he said you ain't got nothing to talk about. The Raiders fan came back to you. You trying to deflect away from this. I ain't trying to deflect – I'm not trying to deflect away from nothing. I said what I needed to say. We going to finish 12-5. and five. We are going to sweep the Vegas Raiders. Now you going twelve and five, bro. I'm not. Hey, I'm not trying to deflect anything. I just, I just told you. Y'all won ten games in the past five years. We won what? Have you won ten games in, in the past five years? In these past five years. Do you years? mean combined or in one season? <laughs> huh? Do you mean combined or just in one season? No, just one season in the past five years. Have you won ten games? We ain't been in the playoffs since we won the Super Bowl. When was that? Twenty fifteen. That was five years ago. Twenty fifteen. That ain't five years ago. What does that have to do with anything? Y'all just went to the, y'all been in the playoffs twice. Give me out. Give me out. You said you're going to go to 12 and 5, but you ain't won 10 games. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? I said 12 and 5. I didn't stutter. I didn't hesitate. I said it with my chest. So y'all okay? So y'all going to go. He said, he said it with his chest. I said it with my chest. We're going to go 12 and 5. 
And I'm going to tell you exactly, I'm, I'm going to tell you our whole schedule right now. I'm going to tell you who we're going to beat, okay? So listen up, listen good. We start off at Seattle. We're going to beat them. We play the Houston Texans. We're going to beat them. We at home to the 49ers. We're going to beat them. They don't even know who they got as a quarterback. Kind of worries me because 49ers is real. Yeah. Then we got at Vegas. We're going to beat them, okay? Uh, how then, you we, figure that, then we got the Colts. We're going to beat them. We at the Chargers. We at the Chargers. We're going to lose to them. Then we home the Jets. We're going to beat them. We're going to beat Jacksonville. We're going to beat Tennessee. We're going to beat them. Huh? I'm not going with him on that. I'm trying to explain to him that play, them playing in Las Vegas is not... There is no home field advantage. That's not the black hole, bro. It's not no, it ain't. Black hole, it's not. It ain't. It ain't Oak Coast. It definitely ain't Oak Coast. Bro, you have no home field advantage, period. None. <laughs> the people adopted that. The people, the people that's there adopted the Raiders. Exactly. And you know how many visitors <laughs> come to Las Vegas, bro? Half of the people in the state are not in the bottom of the team. Uh, you got to give them time. You got to give them time. They ain't been there for two years. Give them time. Well, it ain't this time. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't this bro, time, bro. Without them fans, we beat Denver in that same stadium. Bro, you beat you beat that version of Denver. You not be, well, bro, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. We come to Vegas October 2nd, week four. We going to beat... I got tickets to that game. Yeah, my brother going to that game. Congratulations. You going to see the team lose. He with Russ. He a Russ Congratulations. You going to see your team lose. It won't be Black. the first time, but it won't happen next time. Yeah, it will. As a matter of fact, oh, you man. go ahead and subscribe to the yeah, podcast after y'all lose. Come. After y'all lose, you come on the podcast again. Yo, yo, yo. Uh-huh. What's, what's your channel, man? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go home and subscribe to it. I'll be the only two, me and you and this guy right here. We'll be the only three. <laughs> That's cool. Ain't no Denver Bronco fans. That's this. cool. I, I, I'm going to spell it out for you. But I'm going to support you, you know, just because you like to talk, and I like to talk. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. B R E V O N. That's the first Hold name. On, you breaking up when you say I'm sorry. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. All right. B R E. B R E. Yeah. Yeah. V O N. One word. Brevin. Brevin. D R E V O N. No. V as in Victor. Oh, Brevin. Like Brevin Knight. Yeah. Okay. Towns. Town, Brevin Town, C-O-W-N-E-S. There you go. Brevin Town. Brave Vaughn Town. Goodness I'm, gracious. I'm doing on there, and I'm a sports plus, sports plus light. And I'm going to subscribe, subscribe to you right now. I appreciate you, bro. And I'm going to kick it with you, but we're going to talk to Raiders when I call you. No and, problem. And hey. I'm going to be in Vegas, and I hope you're there. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm you. I'm I, I'm so familiar with talking trash about the Raiders. My father, God rest his beautiful soul, was a Raider fan. All right. And I, so we used man, to go. So we didn't go. Nah, man. Nah, bro. Nah. Cause I. You know why? Because well, as, a, as, a kid, as a kid. As a kid. How old are you? First I'm 38 years old. As a kid, I loved Elway, Terrell Davis, okay. Shannon Sharp. I watched football when Elway was quarterback. Yeah, Elway. Hey, listen. I've been a Bronco fan since we had the big ass D on our helmet, bro. Oh, you remember Craig Moore, now Isaiah, all them guys. Craig Moore, I wasn't alive for Craig Moore, bro. Now you got me I got the mayor's coming. Let me tell you how old I am. I'm old enough that Craig Morton was still our quarterback. Yeah, I remember that. Exactly. I'm not. Al- I wasn't alive for Craig Morton, bro. <laughs> And bro, I remember Danny White was a punter. Bro, Elway, Elway went to the Broncos the year I was born, 1983. That's when Elway went to the Broncos. Have you ever seen Denver win the championship? I've seen Denver win three championships. 97, 98, and 2015. Okay. So that would be accurate. That would be accurate. That would be accurate. And I'm going to tell you something else that's accurate. I've, I have not been alive to see the Raiders win a championship. That's you, accurate. That, that's accurate, but that's accurate too. I, I have been alive to see it. Good for you. John Madden was a No, matter of fact, you know what? I take that back. No, you know what? I take that back. I take that back. Don't go there. Hold on. Hold on. He's winning. Let's put it this way. We won one when it was color TV, okay? The Raiders, they won black and white. John Madden, yeah, that was barely. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me correct myself because I am I am um definitely I definitely want to be accurate. The Raiders won in 1984. 
Marcus Allen against the Redskins, right? 83. That was 83. Oh, well, then, no. I wasn't born then. <laughs> I mean, oh, wait, wait a minute. When was the Super Bowl? Was the Super Bowl January of 84? 83. When they playing Wilbert Montgomery and them, they were playing the Eagles. Okay, so, the okay, so they won. The Raiders won the Super Bowl. The Raiders won the Super Bowl. I was an infant. I don't remember that. You was alive. I was... Oh, <laughs> you was alive. We didn't say what, what stage of life you was in. Well, I was in the very alive. beginning stages. I was still sucking titties for, for survival. Yeah, we was sucking titties now, so I see you. you okay. know, it's but my Denver Broncos, I have seen my Denver Broncos win three championships. I've seen us go to about six Super Bowls. Okay? That's quite a resume now. It ain't bad. It ain't bad. It ain't bad. We got more Super Bowls than y'all. How many y'all got? We got three. We got three. Y'all got two. Nah, see, I thought you said you wanted to be accurate. Y'all got two. You're not being accurate. John Madden won the Super Bowl and Marcus Allen. We Who else? Super Bowl. We won the Super Bowl when we beat the Vikings. That was John Madden. You probably don't remember that. That was in I was not born. That was John Madden when they beat the Vikings. Born don't mean we didn't win them. So holy Super Bowls account. So just erase the first half of the NFL history well, look, because you wasn't born. No, 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 no. Y'all got five. Yeah. He said he going to subscribe to you, bro. I'm glad he's subscribing. Tell him, tell him talk correct now. I know my history now. And the Raiders got two. In the AFC West, we got the most. We got three. Chiefs got two. Raiders got two. Chargers got none. Fuck with your boy. Fuck with your boy. Thank you for the subscription. I look forward to talking to you, Mr. Raiders fan. Yeah, well, see, I know next time when I walk in the store, don't have you on speaker because you just, <laughs> just, just, just starting contrary. Actually, you started with me, though. <laughs> so I even walk in the store. <laughs> Oh, you boy, that player hit his ball is everywhere. Man, you shouldn't, man. You, man, you hating on yourself by wearing a Leighton Van Ness jersey. Uh, I'm really not. My, 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 my sexy, beautiful wife loves to see me in my jersey. Uh, as long as your wife, I will find it. All right, so that's, all, that's all, that's all, uh, 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 that's all you need, as long as your wife yeah, happy. There you go. There you go. Ain't she an Eagles fan? Uh, yeah, but she a husband fan. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll, leave, I'll, leave, I'll, I'll leave that alone. I'll let it alone. All right, that's all right. My sexy, the sexy, beautiful walls of my house is going to love seeing me in my Russell Wilson jersey. <laughs> but anyway, can we, let's, let's get back to basketball. Yeah, sir. What's your prognostication, and that was fun as shit, though, by the way. What's your prognostication for game four tonight? Uh, I, I expect the Celtics to rebound tonight. Um... You called it, but we talked yesterday. It's going seven, so I would expect uh, Boston to rebound tonight. Yeah, I, I expect the seven-game series as well. Uh, we, haven't, we haven't yet had in this series, we haven't had a monster Tatum game, I don't think, so I guess now now's a good time. That's right. That's true. That is true. And um, what he went, um, just ten points in game, ten points in game three? Yeah, they they all, but I wouldn't put that that just on him because they all played underwhelming. Like except, everybody except did, for Jay, except for Jalen Brown, he dropped forty. Well, yeah, but well, okay, again, that's an, he's an outlier. He ain't dropping that, you know, on a regular. Right, but he is their second All Star. He is, but I look at him like. Uh, I guess like Middleton, you know, if you get that from him, you don't get the 20 points from him. You can count on that. But if you get 40-point game out, it's an outlier not to be dependent on it night in and night out. I see him as a more dynamic player than Middleton, but I get the comparison. I definitely get a comparison. But I know you ain't calling Tatum Giannis. Um, I'm not calling Tatum Giannis, but I'm calling...